Hey producers, I'm gonna show you this master chain I've been working with for a little while. I call Modern Vinyl. Uh, here's what it sounds like. So I gave it this nickname, Modern Vinyl, based on this Waves Vinyl plugin that uh, is basically the foundation of the compression of the track. Uh, as you can see, I have the mixing dust effects on, and then I've picked out a selection of uh, different parameters within the plugin that I think sounded good for this track. I turned the noise and crackle all the way down. I basically turned them off. I don't want this thing adding noise to my track. I just kind of want that pump. And then it's really easy. If you have this plugin, you control uh, how hard it goes with the input knob. Check it out. Obviously that lowers the volume, but watch, if I push it really hard, it gets like super fat. Kind of a little toasty there. So that's not really what I was going for. I just wanted to give it a little bit of pump. And now if you see afterwards, I'm using the SSL compressor and I, I like to compress, when I have a compressor that does like kind of stylistic compression uh, and glue, I like to do it with something, follow it up with something that I know really, really well. And this SSL comp, I think sounds great on just about everything and I know it really well. I got the analog switch on, which is adding, if you see, just the tiniest little bit of noise to the track. And uh, I think that's nice. I like it more than kind of the over the top vinyl sounds. And then afterwards, uh, multiband, just doing some really basic taming. Uh, then the EQs and the limiters. Let's take a look at the multiband, uh, starting from the drop. You can see it's not doing a whole lot of work. I'm controlling the kick and bass a little bit, the low mids, um, and then just taking a little bit off the high end because uh, I'm kind of going for a little bit of a more low end vintage vibe. Let's take a look at the EQ. Now I'm, I'm getting a little fancy here because I just love the dynamic EQ on Pro Q3. Uh, I have two bands of dynamic, one bringing out the snare, which I felt like felt like a, just a little buried in the lush music recording. So let's take a look at around 880, give it a little bump. Uh, then I also have a mid only band at 280. This is specifically to bring the kick out a little bit. So I'm doing a little bit of work on this master to bring out the kick and snare but you can see I'm only at 3 dB. They're, these are very small movements. And then uh, some harshness removal at 5K, a little roll off the top. So uh, we don't get so much of those super sharp digital high end. Cause again, we're going for the vintage if you see. There's a little bit of stuff and we're just taking it down a little bit. And uh, I'll turn up the volume, you can hear it actually, I think it makes a really noticeable difference. Uh, if you're on headphones, this will probably be more obvious. So here, I'll take it off. Add it back on. Well, it is a noticeable drop in high end. I just think it makes the whole highs and high mids sound so much more clearer. And it could be the way that it goes into the master limiter. Uh, music two limiters. L316 and Pro L, let's take a look. So I'm using the awesome Dave Darlingston uh, Waves presets for Pro L16, and I'm using an analog release, and I have the threshold set basically just so it's catching the very tops of the drums. Uh, I like this limiter because it adapts to what content it's getting. It's like frequency aware. And it, it gets a little loud, a little kind of gluey, um, so I don't want to use it a lot, but just c cutting the tops off is really nice. And the bulk of the limiting is happening with Pro Al 2, which is amazing. I love this plugin, it sounds great, and you can take a look. And we're not making this track super loud, like 10 luffs. But the combination of these two limiters going back and forth, I think really kind of sells this like vintage vinyl sound. And it's because we got this sort of analog treatment with this old school limiter and then, but because I want a super clean master, I want a super clean dither, we're gonna use a FabFilter Pro L. So it's as clean coming out as we can get it. And all the color and texture and stuff we've intelligently put in, thoughtfully put in with stuff like the Abbey Road, the SSL, um, and then the 316. And the FabFilter plugins, the multiband and the EQ, we're doing just basic 
standard EQ, a little fancy in the mid-range, but that's just me. Um, so we're using modern multiband, modern EQ with vintage compression and limiting. Topping it all off with a nice modern thing. So this is how we kind of fuse the vintage vinyl sound with this modern, clean, pure, very clear, full bass, um, detailed highs. Uh, it's this combination of using both the vintage style stuff with the modern stuff and kind of thoughtfully laying them out. And then if you're not familiar with Pro Tools, the order of these plugins goes uh, Abbey Road Vinyl, SSL Compressor, Fab Filter Multiband, Fab Filter EQ, and then the final Waves uh, Analog L316 Limiter, Fab Filter, Pro L2, Over Sample, Crank to the Max. <laughs> Naturally. That's the Modern Vinyl Master Chain. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more of my Master Chains, uh, I'd be happy to make more videos for this because I love mastering and I love talking about this stuff. I'm Cutman. Thanks for watching.